Hey guys, Big Nick here, and I'm back today, Friday, as I said, weekly series. This is This Week in Wrestling, episode two. Uh, let's let's just get right into it. Uh, so first off, this week started off on kind of a sad note uh, because of the things he was going through at the time. That is the passing of WWE Hall of Famer Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Rest in peace, Snooker. Passed away, I believe, in his 70s. I don't know how old. I remember. I believe it. I remember he died because of a that he was battling stomach cancer. So, R.I.P. Snooker. WWE actually acknowledged it, which is kind of surprising because of the things he was going through. There was like no really that many mentions of him. He was kind of being Benoit and Hogan. Actually, even CM Punk did, where he didn't exist. But okay, other big news coming out of this week. Of that same day of Monday, and that is Kurt Angle has been announced for the Hall of Fame. He will be going in on April Fru Fool's Day. He'll be going in. Great, great thing happens. Kurt Angle finally going into the Hall of Fame. He's one of the one of my favorites. Uh, that top ten, he just misses by a couple spots, so he's like top twelve. He's in the top fifteen for me. Angle, one of the one of my favorites in the ring. Sometimes on the mic, he used, when he was fun when he had his funny moments and. I love I like I love this run in TNA. Hopefully he gets one more match. Hope hopefully I don't think it's gonna happen because as we all know Vince is afraid he's gonna die. He takes a big bump. Like maybe if he gets hit with a superplex angle, fuck his heart will give out. I don't. It's Vince McMahon. Okay, next up on this week is from SmackDown, and that is uh, Mickey James made her return, kind of in an obvious way, but so what? It happened on SmackDown. SmackDown's better than Raw. So what? So yes, Mickey James is back. She helped Alexa beat Becky Lynch. She was La Luchadora, which we all know is Diana Perrazzo, but she's not currently working for Impact Wrestling, not TNA, because according to Anthem Sports, TNA no longer exists. The TNA brand is gone. It's just going to be Impact Wrestling. So what do you guys think about that? Uh, kind of stupid, because usually wrestler, wrestling companies are always known by those three by three letters, except New Japan, because, well, that's New Japan and Lucha Underground. But yeah, they're phasing the name out, so, eh. Next up, also on this list, also happened Sunday, the UK tournament. Uh, I, per I didn't watch it because I had um, family over this weekend, so I couldn't watch it. Uh, so I, watched, I was able to watch some of the first round, some good matches, and I didn't get a chance to watch the finals. I'm going to watch the finals, but the UK champion is Tyler Bate, a uh, 19-year-old. He's younger than me, only by a year, only by a year, but... Hell, he's younger than mo pretty much everybody on WWE's roster. He's already a champion and has taken some guys into their 30s to win a title in WWE. But I'm interested to see what they're going to do because they still haven't pretty much said what they're going to do with it. Minus trying to get its own TV show in the UK. Hopefully it will come to Raw or SmackDown. Hopefully SmackDown because SmackDown kind of needs another title. Because after a while, just the two the two singles belts and some... Because I know SmackDown really doesn't have a lot of guys who are title worthy but the uk title is kind of a way to make some of them worthy enough to have an intercontinental title feud possibly even push the main event because raw hope as i say because raw they've kind of ruined the cruiserweights but hopefully smackdown they'll try to make the uk title mean something and then they'll fix the cruiserweight title as well so yeah tyler Bate is the uk champion next we have is the broken hardies matt and jeff i mean brother nero matt and matt and brother nero Calling out the three ta the three tag team champions of Raw of the WWE and Ring of Honor, Matt Hardy called out the Bucks of Youth, Sheamus and Cesaro, and the American Alpha. So, and as and as the Bucks did later that day, they shot back, called out the Hardys, and it's been made official for April first, Ring of Honor's SuperCard. It will be the Broken Hardys versus the Bucks of Youth. I. I project that to be probably one of the matches of the year. I mean, it's a dream tag team match. You got one of the great, the greatest high flying tag team ever versus a, the second greatest high flying tag team ever well, of today. So as Hardy calls them spot monk, uh, he calls the young bucks spot monkey, spot monkey. So I can expect a lot of high flying crap from the bucks and probably even brother Nero. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm probably not gonna be able to watch it, but hopefully it's gonna be great and I can find it online and watch it. Next up, we have another rumored Hall of Famer, and that's this year's female, and it's rumored to be Beth Phoenix. Uh, if she goes in, it'll be great for her. She's well deserving. Probably, probably the best female wrestler in WWE at the time when the females just didn't mean anything. The post Lita and Trish era, 
when it was pretty much just Beth Phoenix, Mickey James, and Michelle McCool that were really the only ones that would mean, oh, and Melina that would mean anything, but when pretty much they just didn't care. The post Lita and Trish era, that's like 2007? Yeah, seven, because Lita and Trish retired in 06, yeah. Another thing is that Michael Cole, there's a rumor going around that Cole kind of wants to leave TV and go back and go into more of a backstage role. I mean, he's been praised for his work on the uh, on the UK tournament and then was criticized yet again for his work on Raw. So, what do you guys think? Do you think you want to see Cole leave? Because then who would replace Cole? Would it be, would they take Tom Phillips off of SmackDown and put him on Raw and get that four-man commentary team out the way and then fire Otunga and then... Just leave it Bradshaw and Morrow. And then put him on Raw to go back with Graves because he I love him. I love Tom Phillips and Corey Graves on NXT. They do, do they do a great job and then you have Sexton, so then you can just slowly get him out of the way. So yeah, what do you think? Will it be Tom Phillips or will it be someone that someone new? Like maybe someone they've signed recently or someone else they're bringing up the uh was it commentary letter? I don't know. And finally the biggest news there's rumor going around that Kenny Omega has said he is a free agent. He's already said he's a free agent at this time, and WWE continues to use the teasers when they posted a video on their YouTube channel, where this, and, the, and the video's name said, Seth Rollins wants Kenny Omega in the Royal Rumble. And then they re-uploaded, erasing that, and, di and the video and the cover, the little thumbnail, does not have Seth Rollins. It has The Miz still, and I think it has Sasha Banks now, instead of Seth Rollins. So you think WWE's just trying to capitalize on the Kenny Omega buzz after the six-star match, or... You really think he's coming. Because the Royal Rumble is next Sunday. Not the one coming up, the one after. You think you think he's going to come? Because uh, if he does come, I think probably... Hopefully they'll put him on SmackDown. Because Raw, I think he'll just get screwed over. If they put him on SmackDown, you can have possibly you can have him and AJ Styles have a feud after what happened in, when AJ left. And the reason Kenny Omega says he's a free agent, he said after WWE raided Nakamura, AJ, and Gallows and Anderson... New Japan signed some of their towns to special deals. His, well, he said special deals where they are not free agents anymore. Well, they, I mean, they're not contracted anymore. Because this is around the time last year when AJ got signed. So if it works out, WWE gets Kenny Omega and New Japan loses Kenny Omega. And that's probably really going to hurt New Japan. Because they just pretty lost. Because the last two years, they would have lost their two top American face, American stars in AJ and Kenny Omega. So that's pretty much it news wise for this week here and for this week in wrestling. Uh thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week with my NXT takeover San Antonio predictions, rest, uh Royal Rumble predictions, and another this week in wrestling video. So thank you. And I'm gonna also do a Royal Rumble review. So thank so tune in for that. Bye.